Yo, what is good, YouTube? Krishan checking back in with another video. The 2022-212 Olympia is over. Sean Clarita has won the title and is now a two-time 212 Olympia champion. In second place, we had an upset. Angel Calderon upset Kamal L. Gardner, who finished third. In fourth place, Ahmad Ashkanani. And in fifth place, Ole Krivy. But I am going to break these guys down one by one. And let's start off with the champ, Sean Clarita. From the moment this guy came out, pretty much everyone said it was over. The first thing that I noticed, it looks like Sean Clarita added size to his shoulders, which makes him look wider and also makes his waist look smaller. This guy's just full blown. That's the best way to describe him. Sean isn't the biggest guy out there. He's 178, 5 foot 2. Also isn't the widest guy. But this guy's physique is just packed full of muscle with him being such a short guy. And I see why a lot of people call him the mini Ronnie Coleman, especially in this real last spread. But I do want to give a huge shout out to Sean Clarita as well as to his coach, Matt Jansen. They definitely brought an incredible look. And in my opinion, this was Sean's best look of his career. Well-deserved win. In second place, we had Angel Calderon who beat out Kamal L. Gardner. I'm pretty sure going into this show, no one seen this coming. But in the prejudging, it was honestly pretty close between them. I just thought Kamal had the edge over Angel in those back shots. But going into this show, almost no one had Angel Calderon in the top three, top four. And honestly, guys usually look better on Instagram by themselves. I believe Angel looks better next to the competition. He honestly looks bigger and more dense next to other guys. Excited to see this guy in the future. He's constantly improving. And in third place, we had the 51-year-old Kamal El Garni. And in my personal opinion, Kamal definitely brought a better package to this year's Olympia than last year. I believe the packages he brought in the Open were slightly better, but Kamal is still more competitive in the 212. And he did say earlier this year, this will be his last time competing unless he decides to come back next year for the Masters Olympia. I think Kamal lost a little bit of ground in the legs. Quads are a little bit flat. Kamal also doesn't have the best V-taper, but still a very great look for him. And I wouldn't have been mad if he finished in second place. Kamal is a great champion and wasn't mad with that third at all. Now going into our fourth place finisher, Ahmad Ashkanani. This is another guy a lot of people placed really, really low going into this year's Olympia. But I do think this was a great showing for Ahmad. This guy probably has one of the craziest hamstring drops in the lineup. The only knock you can really give this guy, not much separation in the quads and he could improve the posing. But I think with him placing fourth, the judges for 212 really made a statement. In this division, they want to see hard, grainy muscle, and I guess that's more important than overall structure. Now, going into our fifth place finisher, Ole Krivy. I told you guys the entire year, this guy will be in the top five, and he made it. He was sixth place in 2020. And nothing against Ahmad Ashkanani, but I did have Ole placing ahead of him. I feel like Ole had a little bit more detail in the quads and the back. But that was your top five from this year's 212 Olympia. That was all that was announced. I am going to go over two more guys, but you guys let me know in the comment section below. How do you feel about this top five and do you agree with all the placings? Now, Keon Pearson did not finish within the top five, but trust me, guys, this guy has nothing to hold his head about. Keon brought his best package of all time to this year's Olympia. Now, the video you guys are looking at right now is when Keon Pearson first came out. Unfortunately, he was not able to hold on to this look. I believe Keon faded slowly in prejudging, and once he came back at the night show, he was even softer. But in my personal opinion, this was still a win for Keon Pearson. At last year's 212 Olympia, he placed 14th. Not sure where he placed yet this year. I would guess 6th place, maybe 7th. But looking forward to seeing even more improvements from Keon Pearson. Now, another guy that didn't get announced, Kareth Bajo. I'm pretty sure Keon and Kareth are the two guys in 6th and 7th place. They just didn't announce that. This was a great showing from Kareth Bajo. I think he needs to bring up the back a little bit. And also, when Kareth poses the back shots, he doesn't flex the glutes. I believe that hurts him a little bit. But I know a lot of you guys really like this guy's physique. Some people had him as high as third going into this year's 212 Olympia. But this was a quick breakdown of the 2022 212 Olympia. I'm pretty sure we're going to talk about this some more. Once again, Sean Clarita is officially a two-time 212 Olympia champion. Angel Calderon pulls off the upset, places second. Kamal El Gardner third. Ahmad Eshkanani fourth. And my guy Ole Krivy finishing in fifth. 
As always, I hope you guys did indeed enjoy this video. If you haven't done so already, be sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel. The next video that comes out will be men's open prejudging. Cannot be more excited. I'm Krishan from Go Fitness and that's it. I'm out.